thank you for bringing the Echonir. We will need this relic. Speaking of relics, thieves stole an old staff from the Old Sworn Pit. I want to know why. Indeed. How did my unwelcome guests find their way to Bedlam Vale? I am curious. Good orcs died, little prince. I'm not curious. I'm angry. At last you are here. Welcome, Proxy. Hermaeus Mora, Daedric Prince of Forbidden Knowledge, has marked you as Fate's champion. His adversary, Torvasad, once more moves against Apocrypha, threatening not only Mora's realm, but our world as well. The one who knows perceived the exigencies of this conjuncture. Uh, Hermaeus Mora told me we needed you. Torvasad seeks to restore Athelia, a Daedric prince forgotten by all. The memory of her was sealed in Apocrypha, but Torvasad remembers. Three glyphics holding the memory of Athelia were hidden in the Mythos, the heart of Apocrypha. Torvasad has already unlocked two. Now he seeks to return and unlock the final glyphic. We must stop him. Here, you will need the Akinir. A relic forged by Hermaeus Mora, the Echoneer can corporealize distinct foci. That is, it can reveal echoes of past events related to the Forgotten Prince. Choices made ages ago now menace our world. The Echoneer can help us understand them. When you come to a location associated with Prince Athelia, hold forth the Echoneer to draw out and observe any lingering memories. <clears throat> You may also need to perceive the threads of fate as I do. I have a spell for that. Because Hermaeus Mora has foreseen that a restored Prince Athelia threatens the very foundations of reality, endangering Apocrypha, Nern, and all of existence. The one who knows needs mortal aid to avert catastrophe. Hermaeus Mora cannot see Torvasad. But he can sense threads of fate disturbed by Torvasad's actions. The threads are fraying in Grotwood, Reaper's March, and Stonefalls. I will open a portal to each place. Choose one, and we shall go. You should be able to perceive the threads of fate here. Follow them, Proxy. Jad saw you are coming in the tides. Hermora wished this one to greet you here. So it is that our fates cross paths. What is it you seek, Fate Walker? Audrey Jad has seen no Dremora, but that does not mean your quarry has not been here. There is change in the air, a change that began long ago. Hmm. Audrey Jad knows. You should seek the blessing of the children ever mourned. Visit the nearby shrines of beloved John and Jod. Pay your respects. In days of old, we Khajiit would pray to the twins to bless our paths with moonlight and sugar. Perhaps it will be so again. The shrines are here in this courtyard. Old Rejad can tell. You have a long journey ahead of you, Fate Walker. You will need the blessings of the two moons. Return after you have paid your respects. This place is just a stop along your path, Fitwalker. What you ultimately seek is not here. But do not despair. Old Rejad thinks you had to come here. And his heart tells him 
Your journey will take you to strange and distant places indeed. The moon spirits favor you, Fate Walker. Baudrillard sees your path clearly now. Hmm. Yes. Though the twins remain silent. Their light shines upon the path, for those who know how to see it. Audrejad understands now why the Tide Watcher told him to meet you here. You seek an unraveling fate, yes? This one now realizes that means examining an event from long ago. Hermora wishes you to see a memory trapped in the stone of this place. Yet. How could we do such a thing, old Rijad wonders? A thing blessed by the Tide Watcher himself. Hmm. Old Rijad was never one to deal in relics of any origin. Still, if that is its purpose, then use your relic here. Let us see what it shows you, Fate Walker. and west, my sisters. Now, back to Dokrain. Ah, interesting. Old Rijad is an expert concerning those days. Strife consumed all of elsewhere when the cult of Riddlethar spread like a storm across the sands. One could say, Boethra died in that time. The Riddle Thar kicked sand over old beliefs. Manikaji turned away from Boithra. The warrior of the East and West was abandoned. 
Only at Dokrin Temple was her worship preserved, though the monks there fell too in time. The faith you follow was knitted there. Odrejad sees it now. Hermora wished you to relive that old memory, so this one could tell you of Boethra. Your quarry's path leads to Dokrin. Now, so does yours. Rejad will mark the place on your map.
Where is that failed sword saint now? Moving in some sandy cave on the edges of the river. I expected our paths have once more come together. Enter the portal proxy. Why would Taurus seek out a shrine to Boethia? Wait. Up above, Torvasad is here. Ah, Mora's champions. I expected to run into you eventually. Boethia's blade, Abolisher, is mine now. The first of the three relics I require is in my hands. Soon, Prince Ethelia will be restored. I hope you are there to witness her glory. A relic of Boethia? One moment, Proxy. We should speak. 
Torvasar departed and took Boethia's blade with him. If only we arrived sooner. Yet perhaps we were not meant to stop him here. Fate often takes many turns before it reaches its destination. I wish I knew why he wanted the relic, though. Hermaeus Mora requires you to make that decision without his guidance, Proxy. Torvasar disturbed fate in three different locations. The one who knows must have a reason for instructing us to visit each one. Your choice, Proxy. Hermaeus Mora made it clear that we are to be guided by the decisions you make without undue prompting from him or me. But our work is not complete until we discover what Torvasad seeks there. Excellent. In the interest of hastening our investigation of these perturbations, a physical translocation of... Uh, I shall open portals to save us time. Choose one, and I shall follow. <laughs> 